The CDC and FDA are warning about bacterial eye infections from Ezra Care, which makes generic over-the-counter artificial tears. Now, it is common for someone who is a longtime contact lens wearer to have drier eyes eventually and to use something like artificial tears. Now, while these infection cases are rare, this type of infection can move fast in the body and has been deadly. A warning for the folks who may be squeamish at some of these medical images, we are going to show you a few pictures associated with these eye infections. These photos show 68-year-old Clara Oliva's eye infection after she used Ezra Care artificial tears. In a lawsuit, she says doctors surgically removed her right eye and now she's legally blind. We spoke with her lawyer. She's a grandmother. She's a mother of two. And these are supposed to be her golden years when she's enjoying life to the fullest and enjoying the fruits of her labor over the course of her life. The CDC is looking into 68 cases in at least 16 states from May 2022 to February 2023. Three people have died. Eight have gone blind. Four people had to get their eyeballs surgically removed. The infections are caused by a bacteria called Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It can be common in hospitals or from sleeping often in contact lenses. The CDC says it's getting harder to treat the bacteria with antibiotics. That's one of the most severe organisms where it can, once it gets into your eye, and within hours it can penetrate inside your eye, penetrate into the blood vessels and get into the bloodstream. Infections are primarily linked to Ezracare artificial tears. They're manufactured in India and do not have preservatives, making it easy for germs to grow. The FDA has put an import alert on Global Pharma Healthcare, the company that makes the drops, citing problems with microbial testing and tamper-proof packaging. The FDA also warned about a global pharma healthcare dry eye ointment in late February. The companies recalled both products. And in a statement, Global Pharma Healthcare says they're, quote, notifying the brand owner importer of this product, Delsum Pharma, and is requesting that wholesalers, retailers, and customers who have the recalled product should stop use. The CDC says the Ezra Care artificial tears were most commonly used across four healthcare or hospital systems. Experts tell Scripps News the cases are a stark reminder for anyone from the healthcare setting to home. Wash your hands. Okay, and use a warm washcloth, wipe your eyelashes clean because sometimes we have bacteria on our eyelashes and crusting that could be on the eyelashes there. Meanwhile, Clara Oliva's waiting for her day in court. Her lawsuit includes the companies behind the tears, plus her health insurance and the hospital where she was given the drops. So if you are someone watching and you think you may have these particular drops, first thing, throw them out, get rid of them. And you also wanna be on the lookout for things like eye discharge, redness, blurry vision, pain, light sensitivity, those sorts of things. Those are some of the symptoms and signs that are linked to this very specific eye infection. Also make sure to call your eye doctor or 911 if you do have an emergency. Lindsay Thies, Scripps News, San Francisco.